The platinum chip was a valuable commodity in the Mojave, but it was also important to the Mojave Wasteland before it was called the Mojave Wasteland. The chip, which was designed by Mr. House, was actually created to protect Las Vegas and to save it from any nuclear annihilation. The chip, which was created on October 22nd, 2077, the day before the Great War, was supposed to be delivered to Mr. House. However, the chip never made it. Over 200 years later, after the Great War and the nuclear annihilation, you, the main character, were supposed to deliver the chip to Mr. House himself. However, as you know, that doesn't happen and you end up with a different gift instead. House has spent millions of caps trying to get back the Platinum Chip. Over 800,000 caps in 2280 alone. Maybe that's why everyone wanted to find the chip. Not because of the data it contained, but because House was paying so much money to people to go on this crazy scavenger hunt. I can tell you one thing, House was determined to get his chip. But why though? What importance did this little chip have? Why spend all this money for this little minuscule thing that really no one knows the true value of other than Mr. House himself? Why did Mr. House bid against himself? Maybe Mr. House wasn't the only one who knew how capable and how powerful this chip was. For the record, this chip wasn't even platinum. It was a chip that contained very important data, making it to where if you had this chip, you had the power of destruction in your hands. Benny, the man who gave you your little destructive gift in the beginning of the game, knew how important this chip was and knew the data it contained. He had a Securitron robot of his own, yes man, that he was prepared to rule the Mojave Wasteland with, with the power of this platinum chip. All the more reason why Mr. House sends you, the character, to track down Benny to get his beloved platinum chip back. Now let's discuss the potential that this chip had and what it contained. Designed by Mr. House, the Platinum chip contains the Mark II operating system for House's Securitron robot. Mark II was vastly superior to Mark I, which was the operating system that his Securitrons were designed with. The Mark I was contained with the X-25 Gatling laser and the 9mm submachine gun, and it cannot use its auto repair systems. Mark II, however, had an auto repair system as well as the correct drivers for the grenade and missile launcher weapons that all Securitrons are equipped with, but they are unable to use. But with the Mark II upgrade that the Platinum chip contains, these Securitrons are more battle ready than ever, and House was ready to take back New Vegas from everyone who inhabited it. Now, how did this chip almost save Las Vegas from total nuclear annihilation? Let me explain. The chip contains software upgrades for the Lucky 38 Casino. The Lucky 38 is armed with a missile defense grid. During the Great War, this missile defense grid was used to prevent most nuclear warheads from destroying Las Vegas and its surrounding area. If the chip would have reached house in time before the bombs went off, it would have prevented not some, but all of the nuclear warheads from hitting the Vegas area. With all of what was said in this video, do you guys think that Mr. House was really all that bad? I mean, he wanted to preserve Las Vegas and make sure it didn't get destroyed entirely. However, he did represent what was of corporate America pre-war and he did preserve his body for over 200 years. He wanted to preserve New Vegas, not for mankind, but for his own selfish reasons. This man had a bit of a guy complex about himself. So to answer my own question, no, Mr. House wasn't a good man and just wanted complete control over the Mojave Wasteland. If the house ending of New Vegas was canon, would House have stopped at the Mojave Wasteland? Would he have tried to take over the Wasteland even more given the technology that he already had? Maybe I'll do a video on Mr. House next, who knows? But did you guys enjoy the video? Please let me know down in the comments. It was a lot of fun to make, and I would love to continue to make lore videos, as well as the content that I'm currently making. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for future uploads. Like the video, and like I said, guys, comment down below. I love reading your comments, and I love responding to them as well. So take care, everyone, and stay safe. Until next time, this is Joe, signing out.